When I was a child, like those in the choir today, as a family, we went on vacation to a beach on the coast of my native country, Chile. I was so excited to spend some days enjoying the summer with my family. I was also thrilled because I thought I could finally join in and do what my two older brothers usually did for fun on the water. One day, my brothers went to play where the waves were breaking, and I felt big and mature enough to follow them. As I moved towards the area, I realized the waves were larger than they appeared from the shore. Suddenly, a wave rapidly approached me, taking me by surprise. I felt like the power of nature had taken over me, and I was dragged into the depths of the sea. I couldn't see or feel any reference points as I was tossed around. Just as I thought my adventure on the earth might be coming to an end, I felt a hand pulling me towards the surface. Finally, I could see the sun and catch my breath. My brother Claudio had seen my attempts to act as a grown-up and went to my rescue. I was not far from the shore. Even though the water was shallow, I was disoriented and I did not realize I could have helped myself. Claudio told me that I needed to be careful and if I wanted, he could teach me. Despite the gallons of water I swallowed, my pride and desire to be a big boy were stronger and I said, Sure. Claudio told me I needed to attack the waves. I told myself I would surely lose that battle against what seemed like a huge wall of water. As a new big wave approached, Claudio quickly said, look at me, this is how you do it. Claudio ran toward the incoming wave and dove into it before it broke. I was so impressed that I was with his dive that I lost sight of the next incoming wave. So again, I was sent to the depths of the sea and tossed by the forces of nature. A few seconds later, a hand grasped mine and I was again pulled towards the surface and air. The flame of my pride was extinguishing. This time, my brother invited me to die with him. As per his invitation, I followed him and we dove together. I felt as if I was conquering the most complicated challenge. Certainly, it was not very easy, but I did it, thanks to the help and example shown by, by my brother. His hand rescued me twice. His example showed me how to deal with my challenge and be victorious that day. President Russell M. Nelson has invited us to think celestial, and I want to follow his advice and apply it to my summer story. If we think celestial, we will understand that our lives will face challenges that seem greater than our capacity to overcome them. During our mortal time, we are subject to the attacks of the adversary. Like the waves that had power over me that summer day, we can feel powerless and want to give in to a stronger fate. Those malicious waves could jostle us from side to side, but do not forget who has power over those waves, and in fact, over all things. That is our Savior, Jesus Christ. He has the power to help us out of every miserable condition or adverse situation. Regardless of whether we feel close to Him, He still can reach us where we are, as we are. As we reach out to him in faith, he will always be there. And in his time, 
he will be ready and willing to grasp our hands and pull us up to the safe place. If we think celestial, we will recognize Jesus Christ as a flawless example of ministry. There is a pattern for us in the scriptures when he or his disciples reach out to someone in need for help, rescue, or a blessing as they reach out with their hands. As in my story, I knew my brother was there, but being there for me was not enough. Claudio knew I was in trouble, and he went to help lift me from the water. Occasionally, we think that we only need to be there for someone in need. And many times, there is more we can do. Having an eternal perspective can help us receive revelation to offer timely assistance to others in need. We can rely on the guidance and inspiration of the Holy Ghost to discern what kind of help is needed, whether it is temporal support like emotional comfort, food, aid with daily tasks, or spiritual guidance to help others in their journey to prepare, make, and honor sacred covenants. When Peter, the senior apostle, walked on the water to go to Jesus, he was afraid and beginning to sink. Then he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Jesus knew the faith Peter has, had exercised to come unto him on the water. He was also aware of Peter's fear. According to the account, Jesus immediately stretched forth his hand and cut him saying the following words, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? His words were not to scold Peter, but to remind him that he, the Messiah, was with him and the disciples. If we think celestial, we will receive the confirmation in our hearts that Jesus Christ is indeed our rescuer, our advocate with the Father, and our Redeemer. As we exercise faith in Him, He will save us from our fallen state, beyond our challenges, infirmities, and needs in this temporal life, and give us the greatest of all gifts, which is eternal life. My brother did not give up on me that day, but persisted so I could learn how to do it for myself. He persisted even if that required rescuing me twice. He persisted even if I could not get it at first. He persisted so I could overcome that challenge and succeed. If we think celestial, we will realize that our Savior will be there as many times as necessary to provide help if we want to learn, change, overcome, cope, or succeed in whatever will bring true and everlasting happiness to our lives. The scriptures immortalize the symbol and significance of the Savior's hands. In his atoning sacrifice, his hands were pierced by nails to fix him on the cross. After his resurrection, he appeared to his disciples in a perfect body, but the prints in his hands remain as a reminder of his infinite sacrifice. His hand will always be there for us, even if we cannot see it or feel it at first, because he was chosen by our Heavenly Father to be our Savior the Redeemer of all humankind. If I think celestial, I know that we are not left alone in this life. While we must face challenges and trials, our Heavenly Father knows our capabilities and knows we can bear or overcome our difficulties. We must do our part and turn to Him in faith. His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, is our rescuer and will always be there. In his name, the sacred name of Jesus Christ, 
Amen. Amen. Amen.